Hello, my name is Mark Poche. I come from a small country called Denmark. And uh, the sickness that brought me here is uh, different things. I have sleep apnea, which means I have to use this machine in order to breathe uh, right at night. If I don't use this machine, I will not get enough oxygen uh, throughout the night. And uh, that will affect my, my brain and my body. So my body and my brain will start to deteriorate over time, which it did until I, I found out that uh, I needed this. Also, I have a uh, high blood pressure. I take three different kinds of medication for that. And I have high cholesterol. I take another kind of medication. And uh, I have a numbness in my right hand, or sorry, my left hand. I'm a guitar player. I cannot play as well as I used to. And um, um, I have this letter from the hospital regarding the sleep apnea. It tells me that I have to use this machine. This one is a medical report or document from Aalborg University Hospital in Denmark, which belongs to our brother, Mark Ken. Here, his doctor is writing to the airport security and airline personnel informing them of the necessity that he has to always move with a continuous positive airway pressure system, this machine, because he suffers from sleep apnea. This is a disorder whereby the muscles of his airways relax during sleep and makes it difficult for him to breathe, hence gets insufficient supply of oxygen to the brain. So when traveling by airplane, this equipment must be carried in his hand luggage. This is being authorized and written by his doctor, Dr. Natalia Chenchenko the ear, nose, and throat specialist at Alborg University Hospital in Denmark. Tribes, at this very moment, the man of God, Prophet Samuel Kakande, is praying for Brother McCain from Denmark. The might of Jesus. To be healed of this complication of sleep apnea, for which he has got this difficulty in breathing. He cannot breathe well whenever he sleeps. Thank you, Jesus. But before you sleep, there's no problem with your breathing. No. No, it's only when I sleep. That's a problem. Only when you sleep. Yeah. During the day. Okay. During the day is okay. Yeah. Walk. Now walking to his freedom. Jesus Christ has set him free. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Because he feels this problem at night, we want him to sleep over, yes? Then tomorrow he comes back to give it a small. Isn't it? Yes. So don't worry, everything is okay. Tomorrow we are waiting for you here. The following morning, Brother Mark, all the way from Denmark, shared his wonderful testimony to God's glory. Yes, hello, my name is Mark Prache. I come from a small country called Denmark. And uh, what brought me here uh, are, are different uh, diseases. Um, I have something called sleep apnea, and that uh, it's a disease that affects the brain in a way that your breathing at night is not working right. So when you don't breathe at night, uh, it will slowly start to deteriorate your body and your brain. I was feeling very weak in my body. Uh, I had no energy for anything, even though I was working at a Bible school. I was dragging myself to go to work, even though it was not physical work. And my brain was also affected. I started developing uh, anxiety and depression because my brain did not get the oxygen it needed at night. And then I started to sleep with this machine that I've been using for the last at least seven years or so, maybe longer. And uh, this machine that I brought in for show on, on Friday and on Monday, it's like a little respirator of sorts. It keeps my breathing stable throughout the night. And uh, of course, this is an inconvenience to have this uh, machine with you where, wherever you go, except for also when you travel to other countries, you have to bring this machine with you. Uh, but also in the end, it became, became a habit. A friend told me about the Kakanda Ministries and also where I could watch on YouTube. I've been watching the meetings for the last three months. 
or so, and I've been seeing many great miracles, and been very encouraging to, to see all the, the miracles, so uh, I thought, yes, uh, I need to go there. I, I met the prophet yesterday on Monday, the 16th of January, and I was prayed for, touched gently, um, and where I was touched again, and uh, yeah, I, I felt the movement, I, I was moving around in, in circles and stuff. Take my Me, I didn't fall like these black people. This pastor doesn't love me. I didn't fall like the black people. Did he pray for me? No, I prayed for you. Jesus loves you. to fall like a black people. Rise up. <laughs> we love you. Jesus love you. Amen. Tomorrow we're waiting for you. Amen. There's no problem. And uh, something happened last night. And uh, I believe that I'm healed. And uh, the prophet also told me to, yeah, try and sleep without the machine. And I did that last night. I did not sleep with the machine. And I, I feel great. I feel OK. So I still believe that I'm healed. For my the skin under my eyes, they kind of puff up, become, become very big. And this night, when I woke up this morning, my face looked normal. So yeah. So I believe, I believe that I'm healed in Jesus' name. Thank you, God. Thank you, Prophet Kakande. Yeah, so to the people of Denmark, there's a, a great man of God here in this, this church, Kakanda Ministries. There are many great healings that take place. I come from a country where healings are rare. Uh, even when we pray for the sick, occasionally people get healed, but not very often. And uh, here many people get healed. So, so this is a great place uh, where the Spirit of God is moving. So I can recommend others to come and get your healing and uh, yeah